In this video, we will do some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to periodic phenomena. This is AP Precalculus Topic 3.1. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number 1. The Moon has phases in which different percentages of the Moon are visible from Earth. At the Full Moon phase, 100% of the Moon is visible, while at the New Moon phase, 0% of the Moon is visible. The graph gives the percent of the Moon visible at time t in days since an initial day, along with two labeled points A and B. The table gives the dates of the four consecutive periodic moon phases for three months of a certain year. Approximately how many days occur between points A and B? Note, assume that a year has 365 days and consists of 12 months. According to the chart, there is a new moon at May 4th. That means 0% of the moon will be visible. So, Point A could be May 4th, and then the next new moon, point B, would be June 2nd. So it's just a matter of how many days is between May 4th and June 2nd. Let's call May 4th T equals 4. There are 31 days in May, so May 31st would be T equals 31. Therefore, June 1st will be T equals 32 and June 2nd will be t equals 33. So the number of days from May 4th to June 2nd will be 33 minus 4. That's 29 days. That is closest to answer C. Number 2. A certain type of machine produces a number of amps of electricity that follows a cyclic periodically increasing and decreasing pattern. The machine produces a maximum of 7 amps at certain times and a minimum of 2 amps at other times. It takes about 5 minutes for one cycle from 7 amps to the next 7 amps to occur. Which of the following graphs models the amps as a function of time in minutes for this machine? In the setup they told us it's a maximum of 7 amps and a minimum of 2 amps, but all of the answer choices show that, so that doesn't narrow it down. So let's focus on the part where it says it takes 5 minutes for one cycle. That's going to be the period of the function. Option A does have a period of 5. Option B has a period of 2.5, so B is out. It's hard to know what the period of option C is, because uh, I'm measuring from peak to peak, and the second peak isn't even on the graph. So the period is definitely greater than 5. So C is out. And option D has a period of 4. So D is out. That means the answer is A. It's the only one that has a period of 5. Number 3. The graph of a function f is given in the xy plane. Which of the following functions has the same period as f? Here I've highlighted one period of function f in purple. We can see that the period of function f is 4. Sometimes it's easiest to measure the period from peak to peak. Either way, the period is 4. So, which one of these options also has a period of 4? Measuring from minimum to minimum, we see that option A has a period of 6, so A is out. Highlighting one cycle of function B, we see that the period is 2, so B is out. Measuring from minimum to minimum, we see that function C has a period of 6, so C is out. However, measuring from peak to peak on function D, we do see that the period is 4, so the answer is D. Number 4. A metronome is a practice tool that produces a steady beat to help musicians play rhythms accurately. Some metronomes use a pendulum that repeatedly swings left and right to produce a steady beat. Which of the following is true about the beat produced by the metronome and the motion of the pendulum? 
Is it true that both the beat produced by the metronome and the motion of the pendulum have periodic relationships with time? Um, I think that's true. I mean, uh, this seems like a silly question to me, but yeah, both the beat, which is occurring every so many moments, and the motion of the pendulum, both of those um, are periodic relationships with time. It's not only the beat, it's not only the motion, and it's definitely not neither. So I don't think there's much to this question. Let's move on. Number five, the graph gives one cycle of a periodic function f in the xy plane. Which of the following describes the behavior of f on the interval from 39 to 41? Our strategy is to find the period of f and then use the period to find a corresponding interval on this graph that will have the same behavior as the interval from 39 to 41. Only one interval of the graph is shown, so it's easy to see that the period is 4. We have learned that for a periodic function f, adding or subtracting multiples of the period does not change the value of the function. So f at 39 will be the same as f at 39 minus 9 multiples of the period. That's 39 minus 36, so it will be the same as f at 3. Similarly, f at 41 will have the same value as f at 41 minus 36, which equals f at 5. We notice that an input value of 39 corresponds to an input value of 3 and an input value of 41 corresponds to an input value of 5. So the behavior of the graph on the interval from 39 to 41 will be the same as the behavior on the interval from 3 to 5. 5 is a little bit off the graph, but not so far that we can't see what's going on. f is increasing on the interval from 3 to 5. Therefore, f is increasing on the interval from 39 to 41. So the answer is B. Number six, a graph of the depth of water at a pier in the ocean is given, along with five labeled points A, B, C, D, and E in the XY plane. For the time periods near these data points, a periodic relationship between the depth of the water in feet and time in hours can be modeled using one cycle of the periodic relationship. Based on the graph, which of the following is true? All of the options are just saying, uh, where's the period? Is the period from A to B, from A to C, from A to D, or from A to E? How far do we have to go before the cycle repeats? If we look at point A as the beginning of a cycle, the cycle cannot repeat until the function returns to this level. So even though point C is at a peak, it is not at the same level as point A, so it cannot be the beginning of a new cycle. The next value that matches the level of point A is here at point E. So this is where the cycle begins to repeat. That's why the answer is D. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. But also, if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.